So, all right, now this one here, this had my attention from the moment that I saw it. Uh, saw it a couple months back, I think it was a couple months back, back in the last year. Uh, and, and I was immediately just kind of like, okay, what's going on? Mm-hmm. So this is Mike Drop. Um, PM Spirits, well, PM Spirits Which out. Which is our distributor in New York. Okay. Uh, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey, uh, four years old, oak cast, distilled 2015, bottled 2020, um, distilled, aged, blended, bottled by Wilderness Trail Distill. Mm-hmm. So tell us a little bit about this because I know it's fairly limited. Yep. Um, and and uh, what you said, distributor out of New York. Yep. Um, and so tell us how, how something like this comes about because this is not your normal lineup. Yep. Um, and so like walk us through that. Okay. So Mike Drop is a kind of a, a special label. Um, it's a barrel pick. And, and in this case, it's multiple barrels that were dumped together. So this was actually five barrels that were blended okay. together. And this was a barrel pick that was done by the guys, PM Spirit. So Nick Palazzi, um, Leo, uh, I can't remember his last name, but they're a couple of the guys uh, from that distributorship. And again, they're based out of New York City. New York City. New oh, York City. <laughs> so um, this was rye whiskey, Wilderness Trail rye. They picked the barrels, and then the barrels were blended together to make this. And normally, our rye is released single barrel barrel strength, right? Which normally it's you know one fifteen, one eighteen. Yeah. I've seen some over one twenty. Yeah, some are. Now big this big. one was they we blended it together, and then they wanted it to be um, bottled at one hundred and eight proof. Okay. So this was actually diluted a little bit, and um, why specifically 108? Did they have well, it's or? just kind of like if it. Let's say that it came. Let's say when you dump those barrels together, it was 115. Okay. Well, you know how some people put a dash of water in sure. there and it'll open it up. Well, they kind of did some experimentation with just it, liked it okay. and just liked it at that. There you uh, go. Okay. Yeah, exactly. They put that right on the bottle. How funny. Oh, wow. We proved this down from 111 to 108. Okay. So what, what's the mash bill on it? It's sweet mash. I saw that. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's on the back. It's 56% rye, 33% corn, and 11% barley. Mm-hmm. And it's four years. So right? that's our that's our standard rye whiskey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's that. Thank you. Indeed. Oh, cheers. Mm-hmm. Takes me a long time to read. Give mm-hmm. me a second. I love that you guys are so forthcoming. I mean, we're talking about each of the barrels is listed on here. Mash bills. They were, they were located in the Rick House as well. Yeah. So those numbers right. tell you where they were in the Rick House. I mean, you guys and, and Bardstown are some of the most transparent in, mm-hmm. in what you're doing that I, I just, it just really impresses me because you've got some that are like, oh, well, it came from a distillery in Indiana. Well. Folks who aren't paying attention don't know that that's the key code word for MGP. Mm-hmm. Nothing against MGP. No, they make some great stuff. Sure. I mean, everybody pretends like they're the dark side. It's the empire or whatever yeah, else. They're but they're doing great stuff. And a lot of the bourbons we see um, come from MGP. But it would be nice if we had more clarity um, to be able to look and say, okay, this is where this is actually coming from. This is mm-hmm. who's doing it. That's one thing for my own like personal education that I love just to know what it is, how, you know, the age on it, things like that. I was drinking this bottle the other day and I kept saying, this is different, this is different, but could not like put my finger on what it was. Looked it up on the Google. Nobody on the Google had anything either. And I'm like, guys, be more transparent with me. Mm. So this is cool. If the Google ain't got it, then it ain't there. The Google didn't have it. What about Wikipedia? Is it still there? Was that on the Google? I don't know, Wikipedia. I think Wikipedia is on. The Google. Now I'm I get a lot of malted on the nose with this right away, mm-hmm. but it definitely has that rye characteristic yeah. of that that green kind of spicy dill yeah. herbal note mm-hmm. uh, right yes. right on the mid. This, this has everything about our rye that I like. Yeah, and I can tell it's diluted slightly. And again, most of the rye, <clears throat> well, I mean, almost exclusively, our rye whiskey is single barrel barrel strength. So mm-hmm. it's not too many times where I've even tasted a blend. Um, now we are getting ready to release a 94 proof rye whiskey. It's going to be a little more of like a, you know, a little more of affordable. Right. Uh, and, and that'll be a small batch offering. And that's your Settler's Rye, right? That's our Settler Select. Settler Select. Yeah, that's right. And that's white label with green, line, green yep. lettering. I Whoa, somebody did his homework. 
Ooh, inside I, info. I, I don't know. You guys Whoa. published it. Oh, okay. It was definitely <laughs> yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. newsletters. <laughs> well, it was funny. Uh, it was funny. So I wrote the last article for the last newsletter. Right. And I think I must have rewrote the same article that Shane wrote last month, and I must not have read it. And so I was like, hey, dude, I just wrote about all that stuff last month. I was like, oh, okay. And so Whoops. I had to whip we out just wanted to one. reiterate what we're doing here. Yeah. yeah. So I ended up rewriting the article, and it was about the spiral barrel. Right. Nice. Otherwise, you'd have got the same article as we had last month. Yeah. Well, good thing so we did. Yeah. Can't have that. Well, this is nice. I mean, they, these two really decent expressions, um, I mean, of what you guys are doing out here. I love that you guys are constantly um, changing things up and are experimenting, not just go and say, okay, our four year work, so let's just keep stamping it out mm-hmm. and, and going, but really paying attention to um, to what's going on. Now, I took your advice um, and anything that's yellow with a label on the side, any barrel pick, yeah. weeded yellow, if I see it out, it's I'm snatching it and up. If I and, see it before you do, it won't be. No, there. I bet not. I bet I was at um, 21C and I bought their last one that they had. It was a four year barrel pick. They had it on the shelf, and I was like, yeah, Yes, sir, that's going to be. Patch words in my ears mm-hmm. ringing. Oh, I'm they going. were selling at 21C. They got any more? Uh, this has <laughs> been a while back. Yeah. Somebody said that to me at my house the other day. They were like, uh, You're like a wilderness super fan. I was like, No. They're all different barrel picks because half of my shelf is wilderness trail mm-hmm. bottles, but they're all barrel picks. So, well, so what else you guys got coming up? I mean, you said you've got the settlers coming. Um, we're we're in seven year of your weeded. Um, that's all. Are we still all pot still on that, or we have we um, are we in column? At well, this actually, let's take a little peek on the side of the bottle here. Uh, let's see here. Made from locally sourced grains. Blah blah blah. Copper column distilled. So now the so we're in the bottles are yeah they're, okay. they're, they're switched over to where it says column distilled on the side. So those of you who are familiar with our whiskeys, um, on the side here we always tell the mash bill and, and some other relevant information, and that's where it'll be listed. Is that the blah, blah, Is that the blah blah that's blah? That's right. Part? Well, okay. that was the yeah, sixty-four. <laughs> that was where the grain recipe I already mentioned. Oh, okay. Sixty-four percent corn, twenty-four percent wheat, and twelve percent multiple. Um, is this bottle being sold in the gift shop? Yep. yep. So that so they can come and get the spiral in the gift yep. shop. Yep. That's it's, right. got, it's got a little sign that right next um, to it. Um, I don't know if you all still have any, but for those who don't know, Wilderness also used to make rum. Sorry, I you there. Um. The rum that you all had in the gift shop like a month and a half, two months ago, was like super bourbon. Yeah, like yeah. it was left in the barrel longer. Yeah. And I was like, I will take all of these. And mm-hmm. I've actually been drinking rum at home, which is like, yeah, it, it's got not a, something it's got I do. The flavor of an aged whiskey. Oh, time. it's like phenomenal. Mm-hmm. So if you all come here to the gift shop, get yeah, some actually, that. the rum that we got on the on the shelf right now is that that rum. Nice. It's so well, good. I remember back um, back pre COVID when you mm-hmm. guys when you come in and do the tour. And you would do the harvest rum, and you'd have like a um, tongue depressor and dip it into the sorghum. Yep. And and so I never, I mean, yeah, you get sorghum, molasses, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so I was never connecting it. Even we normally to, call those popsicle sticks here. Yeah, but um, take weird. your tongue depressor <laughs> and dip it in the yummy uh, it was, sorghum. It was wider though. I mean, I've never <laughs> seen a popsicle stick. That take big. something that you normally put in somebody else's <laughs> mouth and put it in that delicious sorghum. But um, but it was you dipped it in that, and because I'd tasted it before, I'm like, okay, that's fine. And then taste the sorghum, and then you're like, okay, now you really start pulling those those notes out of that rum. I mean, it's a good rum. Oh, yeah. And the story behind the, the name on that thing, I just absolutely love. So yeah. you don't have to share that if you don't yeah, want to. Yeah, we'll, uh, uh, we'll we'll <laughs> 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 um, But yeah, that's that's a fun one. Um, that's all that insider stuff. Um, but Fanboy. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, you know, I, I can't help <laughs> can't it. Even drink. Can't help it. So. Well, Pat, I just want to thank you uh, for coming on again and sharing with us about some of the crazy stuff you guys are doing. Um, we're, we're really finding that, that we're being embraced by not only the bourbon community as far as other podcasters and bloggers and everything else, but also the distillers. Uh, mm-hmm. We've got coming up uh, Rabbit Hole. We're going to be on here in a couple Good of weeks. Uh, we had Jessica Ann on, and she's doing wine barrels and, and bourbon finishing and whiskey finishing and wine barrels. She had her own mm-hmm. uh, last week. Um, so we'll be releasing that episode out here really soon. Nice. Just love it. I mean, we're it's really going well. It's not too bad for a realtor and a front house uh, manager at, at a restaurant. So getting well, out there. You guys are already I'm telling you, you what. I'm telling you what. Thank we're, you for coming. Hey, I'm not, not a member. Of, complex. I, I'm not a. I'm not a heritage member of the bourbon uh, of the bourbon trail yet. So we'll we'll work on that. So mm-hmm. need a couple more barrels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so well, anything you want to share with us before we head out? 
Um, no, I'll just, you know, shout out to all of our fans and, uh, you know, people that have supported us over the years. I mean, sure. you know, we truly appreciate all that. And uh, Ralph. Ralph you. Burgess. And thank Adam. you very much. And Mark. Adam. And Adam. Adam. And Adam. And Adam. All the yes, praises. thank you. All, yeah. all the roadies. The Bourbon Road in general. All of them, yeah. And the Scotchy Boys. we got some Scotchy Boys I know out there. Oh, I have the Scotchy Bourbon Boys, boys blank here at my house that Martin sent to us, and I drank out of it last right. night, but I'll give it to yeah, you. Yeah, I think Martin's their <laughs> bourbon procurement <laughs> officer, as, as Ralph is ours. Um, and Rob threatened to quit, so I had to double his pay last week, so I hope you don't mind. Hey, Rob, um, I got you a bottle, like, yesterday. I just brought it here today. I mean, I, I doubled it. 100% of nothing was I, – I figured we could work that into the budget. So, uh, But anyway, well, Pat, thank you so much. Yeah. LaHanna, any parting words? Bye. See you all in two weeks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>